This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Kyle back on. He was on previously with the regional top at Manuscrew. This time he's gone ahead and topped the OTS Championship. So congratulations, of course, on that. Guys, before we do get stuck in, let me apologise about any noise. We are still recording at the event. There's still some additional play going on and that kind of thing. So apologies about any of that. And one final thing before we do get stuck in, if you're looking to pick up any singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description. Use code Rufio15 for 15% off your order. So tell us, what did you play? How did you do all of that nonsense? We were on the Phantom Knights and we got uh, fifth place after Swiss, which is a nice little top, and then uh, we finished out in top four after top eight. Yeah, so just to clarify on that there, just so that it makes sense for the audience there, we have an additional winner box event that was held for the top eight separate from the OTS Championship. So overall, his position was fifth, and then of course he went out in that top four out of that top eight in the additional event. So, uh, uh, go for another round. X two in uh, the Swiss. So. Nice little, nice, went with a nice 4 0 streak and then lost in the last two rounds. So, yeah, it's sort of not, not much I can do about the games. Okay, cool. Right, uh, let's get stuck in, shall we? Yeah, uh, take us away when you're ready. Yeah, man. So, I'll see three copies of Best Boy Torn Scales. Does everything for you. One card starter. Don't need to say anything more about him. Uh, three copies of Silent Boots, obviously, it's an extender. Searches for spell and traps, so it's obviously just insane. Uh, two copies of Cloak, such as your monsters, and also helps boost attacks, also uh, part of your uh, Dagda combo. Uh, rough Rag Gloves to dump your other PKs that you might need. And then Stain Grease just has a nice little extender. If you go into him sometimes where you, know, you need that extra bit of gas, and that's it just for the PK lineup. And then for the other cards, uh, three copies of Tour Guide. Uh, she's still not really nice. You normal summoner, you get a BA. She's a one card combo by herself. Also, it's still a bit risky now, but with hand traps and stuff like that. But still, she's definitely worth playing. And then of course her, her um, boys, Ruff and Seer. Uh, these cards are great because obviously to a combo with them, this and uh, that makes everything great. Uh, obviously, these two are just insane. And then uh, for the extended centers, two Kagamusha Knight, which is also on level 3, get spec them up for free. And your psychic package, just such one tracker and one wielder. And that's it just for the standard uh, rack level 3 extenders. And then moving into the other cards, of course, Dasher, Celestial, Scythe. Uh, also, DP is just absolutely insane. Also, Scythe, why was this card not banned? Konami, what the hell? Uh, yeah, just insane. Moving into the spell and traps. Two copies of e -Tele, just help turbo out your extenders. Uh, Rotor, just to help search for your PKs and anything else that you might need. Uh, cool by hand traps, but also really great against DP, just banishing it and getting it out of the way. And then uh, two copies of Fusion Destiny went to two, but for some reason I kept seeing it in my opening hands, which is just nice. Sorry, Merlin. <laughs> uh, three copies of Triple Tack, uh, just insane. I love this card in the main deck. A lot of people have said that side decking it is uh, nice, but I personally absolutely love this card in the main deck. Whenever I've resolved it, it just puts you so far ahead of your opponent by either ripping a card out of their hand or nicking a card they control. It's just absolutely insane. Now for the weird part, only two forbidden droplets. So I was gonna have a third one for uh, today, but unfortunately the guy on eBay backed out. So uh, I was left with two, but it doesn't matter because I saw, I saw it whenever I actually needed it. So it was absolutely um, just nice. Sometimes droplets. lucky. Sometimes we, we just get lucky. Which if you ask anybody here, I'm apparently the luckiest guy on the planet. And that's it for the spell lineup. Onto the traps, uh, three copies of Fog Blade. It's a ser it's searchable negation. Like this is insane. Uh, one copy of Wing just as your extra uh, getting your PKs out of the grave just for extra combos, and then uh, Brigadine just to catch us again another uh, pseudo extender, and then uh, just the other uh, traps just three in perm. Uh, it's just an all round good hand trap. If you want to give you can play a low impact hand trap, you might as well play one that doesn't play into tactics. So yeah, that will be it for the main deck. Forty one cards in total. Awesome. 
Moving on to our lovely extra deck here. One copy of Link Spider to obviously link away your Brigadines for Help Make Verte. Uh, Cherubini, Dagda, Verte, uh, Dark. This card didn't actually come up today uh, quite a lot, uh, but in testing online, it was insane by nicking your opponent's DPE and then just, and, or uh, any other ducks and just helping kill. It's insane. Uh, Pradesh, love him. Uh, Apo, again. Which is just great. And then for the XEs, uh, two copies of Break Sword. Obviously, it helps break your opponent's board. And he's also the essential to a little tech that I will get into later. Uh, one copy of Levy. Obviously, just for your Dagda combo, bring back your Ancient Cloak. Uh, Downards and Zeus could obviously break your opponent's board. And then, obviously, the main man, DPE. Is just, he's just insane against trap decks, against, you know, just help cipher off your opponent. He's just an all round busted card. And then moving on to the MVP of the day, the absolute spice. One copy of Raiders Knight and one copy of Arc Rebellion. So, the reason why we're playing this was, um, you sometimes in most decks you play a rank four for when you draw something like Scythe or Fusion Destiny, so you don't have to go into either of the links. And but uh, I found that I wasn't ever going into those uh, monsters really, and and also I don't have an access code at the moment to be able to help kill. So I was looking around, thinking, theorizing what to do, and then I read this card and I realized just how busted it is. So what he does, for those of you who might not know, is he's a 3k attack that you summon off a of Raider's Knight because Raider has the effect to detach material and then you just XC summon this on top of him and then he has the effect where he can't destroy my card effects and then by attaching one material he gains the attack of all other monsters on the field including your opponent and then only he can attack for the rest of the turn so this card I, he is the reason I won so many games today just by being able to just one shot my opponent is just absolutely insane uh, also even if you somehow aren't managed to don't manage to kill like in one game against live twin because they have that sunny snitch that like um revives a little bunch of their life uh which is bad math for my part he also comes from my card effects and the attack is gain is permanent so you just have an absolute massive boy on the field that comes from my card effects so he's just absolutely insane sure so for those people so for people who are looking to play phantom knight but also don't have an access code this is an absolutely insane alternative and in my opinion also kind of maybe a just a teeny weensy little bit better. And yep, that will be it for the extra deck. Sure. Moving on to the side deck. Three copies of Dimensional Barrier. Great against uh, Kitchen Sink, uh, Sword Soul, uh, Pika. It's just great against a lot of the deck current decks because you just call whatever they summon, they can't play. Uh, Harpies, Double Cosmic, Double Twin. Just these are like nice generic back row. Um, hate alongside the DPE. Uh, the three copies of Dark Ruler because. Screw your board, I guess. Uh, three copies of Lancia again, great against uh, Sword Soul and PK. Which PK and Sword Soul, funny enough, I never actually played against today. It was all kitchen sink today, which is kind of sad because uh, my side deck doesn't really stop that deck, really. Didn't have the cards to be able to stop that deck, really, which will probably explain why we uh, lost to kitchen sink a lot today. And then uh, just one pan drops because I have one extra space and uh, these just a great generic cards just to throw in your deck. And that'll be it for the main bit for the deck. Thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Really appreciate no it. Uh, anything that you would change about the deck? Uh, definitely the side deck was definitely a thing I would definitely change. Because uh, I was, uh, I kind of uh, really on my part uh, didn't get this completed until like early this morning. So and obviously without the cards like uh, token collector. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. It, it, that is why I think maybe let me down quite a bit today because my side deck wasn't uh, built to build specifically this room. But eh, it's all it's all no problems. And then uh, also definitely uh, the third droplets. When I get that third droplets, that's good. Definitely going straight into the deck. And uh, apart, apart from that, no, really. Uh, I think the PK lineup is very standard, and I think it's just it just works completely well. Uh, but yeah, as as time goes on, things change, and uh, we'll see what. And see where the road takes us with the deck. Okay, cool. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, I'll see shout outs to Jam Drum Cards UK hooking me up with a few, quite a few of these cards here. Uh, shout outs to my sponsor Thomas Brown for uh, getting me a few of these cards, including uh, the droplets. Uh, shout outs to Thomas O'Neill, great friend of mine. Shout outs to Adam Wall, my friend here, currently sat behind the camera. 
And then, uh, yeah, that's all, all, all she wrote, man. Thank you very much for letting me showcase this deck profile for you. No, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. No Congratulations, of course, on the top. Well Thank done. You. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.